salted mackerel in a jar. Eating fish from a can or a jar doesn't get any more exciting than this. Welcome to Funny Guy Food Reviews with Rocky Nichols. Today we have this extra special treat. Chunks of mackerel in a jar. Look at that. That by itself is, an, is exciting. Looking forward to eating these tasty morsels. Can't wait. Today we took some extra precautions. Two sets of paper plates. One to put on the jar and the other one to move the food to. Paper, plastic bag to wrap all the smelly stuff up. Get rid of it. Lots of absorbent paper towel. Then two plastic tools to remove the fillets. And of course the substrate. A little background information. I buy this at the Asian food stores. Quite often, when you find the food that's in jars, you'll find the lid puffed up, which means decomposition has taken place. So you need to sort through the jars to make sure that it's not puffed up. Another indicator of something gone amiss is when a dark slurry comes down the side of the jar. That means the seal has been broken and the decomposition has produced waste product that is now exuding from the can or the jar. Two good indications of something bad happening. It took a little bit of searching to find such a pristine looking can on the shelf, but I am quite confident that this will be a safe episode. As usual, when we open the can, we want to listen for the air hissing into the can, not hissing out. And this will be an extra oily affair because of all the oil that's in this jar and the ease of it slopping around. Obviously, you don't want smelly oil slopping around on your clothes or on your table or furniture. So let's take the first step cautiously. Ah, I didn't know this little bonus security feature of a wrapped piece of plastic, which doesn't really seal anything, so I'm not sure that perhaps it's just a mental security issue. I'll set the jar on the paper plate just in case of an explosion. Grasp the jar firmly with one hand, the lid firmly with the other. Rotate. child rooftop. Oh, there we go. We broke her open. Ah. The oil is plenteous. By the way, I should read the ingredients. Mackerel, salt, U.S. corn oil. That's the first time I've known U.S. corn oil to be used in preserving fish. I don't know that, corn, that the oil matters, but it's just an interesting note. Sorbic acid, 0.1% as a preservative. Product of Vietnam. Fully cooked before eating. Okay, I did not see that disclaimer. Fully cooked before eating. Well, I'm going to take a chance here that this is fully cooked. Otherwise, why would it be in a jar or a can? Hopefully it's not a mistake. I shall try to remove a specimen. Hmm. Look at that. Well, that was rather uneventful. One full fish section intact. I was expecting these to be sliced up chunks. Let's pull another one out of the jar. Perhaps there's a difference. Ah, there is. This one is a filet. Hmm. And it appears all the drippage has been contained. As a precaution preventing the oil from dripping around, when I put the top back on, I will 
absorb that. Kind of a weird smell. So as you can see, there is one complete section and one fillet. Here's to be bones in there. I guess I'll have to separate that. Seems a bit stiff. Ah. There is a substantial skeletal remains. Not sure how you get that out. <clears throat> Maybe I'm not supposed to. Definitely a challenge that I wasn't expecting. And the fish, as well as the skin, seems to be quite leather-like. This is turning out to be quite a mess. Anyone on the uh, YouTube channel there who has some instructions for me, let me know. This doesn't seem to be working as I would expect. Let me move to this one, which seems to be... Where's a rock? Well, apparently... The skin of a mackerel is similar to that of a cow. It's a uh, darn near impenetrable. Uh, here's some kind of a mush that I've got off of there. I'll take a chance and taste this one. Okay. This is a totally failed experiment. That's like eating pure salt. Ingredients, mackerel, then salt, then corn oil. I guess that's where the phrase, holy mackerel, comes into play. There's more salt in there than there's oil? Ooh, it sure does taste like it too. Okay, I guess, I guess I made a mistake on this one. Apparently, Apparently this stuff is to be used as a salt substitute, not as meat. Maybe you grind this stuff up and put it on your pretzels? I don't know. But I don't think I'm going to pursue consuming any more of this. It is really salty. It is like fish flavored salt. And if that's what you're looking for, this is it. If I'm totally misguided on what I'm doing here, and someone has some instructions for me as to how to eat this or what it's used for, please make some comments below and I'm sure to follow them because I would like to know. But as far as this stuff goes, I don't think it's meant for human consumption, at least not just out of the jar like that. So I'm looking for your comments and your advice. Thanks for watching.